If you have a 3D printer, you've probably printed this. Well, I'm going to show you how to make it easier to remove on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. If you do a lot of 3D printing, this is just going to happen. Sometimes the print doesn't stick and it builds up around the hot end. A silicone cover for your hot end like these make it more difficult for the filament to stick to your hot end, but if it does, it makes it a lot easier to remove it. I'll show you how to install this on an Ender 3, but this also works for a CR10 or a CR10 Mini. You'll want a brass brush to clean off the nozzle, and you'll also want a needle nose pliers with a small tip so you can get into little nooks and crannies and pull the plastic out. You'll also need a two millimeter hex bit into a screwdriver to make it easy to remove the screws on the fan shroud. This is the tool that I use for that. There's two screws that hold the fan shroud in place. One is on the side and one is on the top. Use that two millimeter hex bit to remove those. Then go to your printer menu and click prepare and then preheat PLA. This is gonna heat up the hot end. And once it's heated up, then you can pull the fan shroud to the side, use the needle nose pliers, and you should be able to pull that plastic off because the hot end is now hot enough that it's melting the plastic. But you're gonna get all kinds of little nerds stuck in different spots. You want to get those off and out of the nooks and crannies. That's where a really small needle nose pliers comes in handy. The next step is to remove this cotton Teflon tape covering that's on most hot ends, including the Creality printers. After a while, this stuff just wears out and it seems to bend and flex and let the plastic ooze right in it. So I like to just pull that off, then use the wire brush and clean everything off as best you can. There's going to be little pieces underneath it, which you can again use the needle nose pliers to poke those out and then clean it as well as you can because the boot is gonna go right over the top of this. So brush it off, peel it off, and get it perfectly clean. Then we're gonna shut off the heat by going to prepare and then cool down. You want the hot end to be cool so you don't burn your fingers. Now we're ready to install the silicone boot. This one that I picked out has a big hole for the nozzle. I like that because I can change the nozzle without having to remove the boot every time. It flexes over the heat block and snaps into place. In this case, I had to squeeze it between the screw and the heat block. The needle nose pliers really came in handy. But once it's in place, this is the way it should look, snapped over the heat block. The side with the thermistor and the heat element are exposed so it's easy to get to, but this still worked really, really good. So now once I had that installed, I was ready to put the fan cover back in place. Now what I do is I put the screw on the screwdriver, push it into the fan shroud, and only tighten about halfway. This makes it loose enough that I can easily line up the other screw. I put that screw mostly into its place, and then I come back and tighten the first one, and then I tighten the top one, and the shroud is done, and this is the way it looks. Now I didn't touch anything, I didn't adjust the bed, hoping I would get another blob, and sure enough I did. So let me show you how you can remove it, how this makes it easier. So I do a preheat PLA, and I let this thing heat up. And if you watch the blob, it really doesn't do anything till I hit about 150 degrees, and then you can see it start to fall away. It's actually removing itself. Once it got to 185, I could just pull it off with my fingers, and most of the blob just came right off. Then with a brush, I could clean the nozzle, and I was ready to start printing again. So then I adjusted my bed and got everything right, and got everything printing again. But it really makes it easier to remove the blob just by putting that silicone cover on the hot end. They come through to a pack, so I tried one on my CR10 Mini and one on my CR10, and they both worked great. So I'm gonna get more from my CR10 Mini print farm. If you try this out, let me know how it works for you in the comments below. If you like this video, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you wanna help support the channel, a dollar with the Patreon. If nothing else, click on the CHEP logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.